Well, we're going to head to the Masson Broadcast booth now. Welcome in our colleague Jim Palmer. And Jim, Zach Britton goes to the mound tonight, his third attempt at win number seven. Errors have hurt him in his last two starts, but of all the starters on the staff, would you agree he's the one that seems to get it the most about pitching the contact and encouraging the opposition to put it in play? Uh, I agree uh, wholeheartedly with what um, Rick Dempsey said. I mean, here's a young pitcher at 23 that understands what he does best. He's a sinker, change-up type of pitcher. Okay. So when you're that type of pitcher, what do you do? You keep the ball down. You try to get the hitter in the swing mode, which he's able to do. Uh, you know, as the league is ad adjusted, he's thrown a few more breaking balls and change-ups. But at the end of the day, uh, he's a ground ball pitcher, almost two to one. For 64, almost 65 percent of the pitches put in play on the ground. I think he understands that. And again, uh, tonight, very simple. Don't let him hit it to Reynolds and don't let him hit it onto the bench because that's where Blake Davis is sitting. He made the two run error up in Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm not trying to get on those guys. But again, ground ball pitcher, you better play good de defense behind uh, Zach Britton or otherwise um, uh, he'll be in trouble. You know, Jimmy, I think some of the young starters, they really need to learn to go deeper into ball games. But aside of that, really the backbone of this pitching staff has got to be their bullpen. Two guys that are really holding it together is Jimmy Johnson and then Koji Urohara. They have really had phenomenal runs for the last three weeks. Yeah, I think Buck Showalter, uh, you know, again, if you go back and look at the uh, the injury history, uh, not only of uh, Uwe Hara, who's had problems, but Jim Johnson had elbow problems last year. Uh, he has probably been uh, used a little bit more, uh, multiple innings. Uh, again, as you guys have been talking about, not enough quality innings from your starters. But again, I mean, he's got starter stuff. He's got three good pitches. And then Koji Urohara, Buck Showalter's done a nice job of really kind of uh, spreading out his uh, appearances. You know, we... We've seen him over the last uh, two weeks. They use the split-fingered fastball. So here's a guy that pitches the way you're supposed to, throws a lot of strikes, and again, great guy to play behind. But uh, you're just wondering how long these two guys can go with the workload they've had. And hopefully, again, your starters, uh, not only if they pitch well, what happens is you have uh, bigger leads, and the Orioles uh, really haven't had a problem scoring runs over the last five, six games.